After witnessing the punching power of fighters like Mike Tyson, who can just rip in with such ferocity, have you ever wondered how hard the world's strongest man could punch? If you slapped a pair of boxing gloves on him and said, go for it. Today we're gonna get the opportunity to review training footage of Eddie the Beast Hall, who in 2017 was the world's strongest man. Punching power that can be generated by some of these high, high level combat sports athletes who are just so big to begin with is amazing. But now imagine you take somebody who is just crazy strong, like thick, could probably deadlift like a thousand pounds or something ridiculous, and you say, put this little glove on and hit the bag as hard as you can. What's gonna happen? Are they gonna rip the bag off the hook? Or are they gonna be too thick and too bulky so they can't do anything with proper technique and really can't generate enough speed to equal any great power? Let's look today at Eddie's training as he was actually preparing for a boxing bout. And it needs to be said that he actually put in a decent amount of time getting prepped up. So we're not looking at some amateur, super strong dude who's just trying to hit. Eddie has had time to train, hone his striking craft, and we wanna see if he looks any good. The very first thing that I was actually surprised about when we look at Eddie Hall, we're talking about somebody who's 6'3", so he's only about three inches taller than me, but he's over 100 pounds more, 360 pounds. And I figured that means he was gonna be very slow, but we can see him on the pads generating some really good speed. And I was very impressed, and it was something I was not expecting to see out of this strong man. Because let me tell you a quick story about I even know 20 years ago when I was first getting into kickboxing, I ended up across in a sparring match from this guy who was also a strongman, not a world strongman, but competed in the Canadian competition or something like that. Anyway, he was about this tall, but he was so thick and so wide and he was just walking around just and I figured, oh my gosh, if this guy hits me, I'm going to get destroyed. But then as we started moving, I realized he was so thick that his punches were kind of like this. It just seemed like everything was slow-mo and I was moving at double, triple speed. So seeing Eddie blast the pads and generate some good speed was very surprising to me. And I think that's a good lesson for everybody out there who goes, ooh, you know, I don't want to lift weights. I feel like it's going to affect my punching speed. Yes, obviously, if you put an extra 20, 30 pounds of raw muscle on, you might not be quite as quick, but Eddie Hall shows us that even the guy who's the world's strongest man who is constantly focused on lifting, 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 getting stronger can still be fast. The next thing which I really liked from him was his jab. Granted, it's not coming right from the head as he kind of moves around, it's snap, 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 but he gets good speed again on it, good leverage because his left shoulder is already in front and he's remembering to engage his body. And just overall, this jab is looking really sharp. And like I said, I love the way that he's not just standing stationary, he's actually putting in some footwork. If I was across from this guy and he was snapping that jab out and he connects with one, it's definitely gonna make you think twice about standing within range. And he's definitely gonna create openings off that jab for something off his backhand. All good stuff so far from Eddie Hall. Something else which I really like is just his overall footwork. A lot of people can be very good at punching stationary and then they're okay at movement. But Eddie is actually punching while moving. And I went, wow, that's impressive. For a guy his size, I kind of thought maybe he would have a little bit of trouble getting that balance and timing and coordination, just being a bigger man. But he's doing a great job holding himself in position, making sure he doesn't end up out of position as he starts moving. That happens a lot to people. They'll start punching and their stance either narrows or widens or they take too big a step and then too small a step and end up too long or too short. Eddie doing a very nice job of showing balance and maintaining that strong power. Now another thing which I really liked while watching his pad work was going, wow, this guy can actually get his counters off very fast. A lot of people have issue with blocking shots and then interrupting and being fast enough on their counter. Sometimes the beat is kind of like block, block, pause, hit. One, two, pause, hit. He does a good job of one, two, and then he's in there right away. One, two, snap. He's getting massive power off that hook, but it's the interruption time which is very impressive. And the reason most people cannot accomplish this is they're far too stiff when they block. They're going, oh, I have to tighten so much. 
oh, I have to tighten so much, muscles are flared, now I have to engage and they're not able to release fast enough to get into that counter. If you can get that speed into your counters, take that extra sort of lag time and shorten it up, it will block to counter, you're gonna be that much more likely to land. And of course, we have to give Eddie props for the power which he is creating in pretty much all his shots. He should be able to hit hard, but we have to remember, just like I said earlier, when I was referencing that guy who was in the Canadian Strongman, not everybody who is strong can create massive power because often they lack speed. Even if their follow through is good and they have big muscles, if you don't put speed behind it, it's just kind of like somebody pushing you. And Eddie doing a good job with the speed, the follow through, and then obviously creating tremendous power just because when he hits something, he's definitely not gonna need to stop upon impact. He will follow right through just because of the overall force and strength which he has. I definitely would not wanna be on the end of one of Eddie's punches and even his poor pad holder looks like, oh, it's just getting jolted around. I can't imagine the force this guy is creating because even my brother who hits incredibly hard, he's about 30 pounds more than me, when I used to hold for him, if I kept my body like this and took a left hook off the glove or, or the pad, it could like rip my arm back. So I ended up having to go like this a lot of the time. So at least my shoulder would be safe. If I was gonna take a cross, I would put that arm in the back. So big props to Eddie for massive power and obviously his pad holder is just taking a beating being there for him. Now let's talk about a few things that Eddie is doing wrong because overall very good, but everybody always has things they can improve upon. And if you guys have been watching going, whoa, this is really good. It's also nice to note and learn from mistakes that are very common that people are making. So very often when he throws his cross, he does that nice rotation off the lead arm because the hip's already in front, but off the cross he's not getting the rotation which he should have. It's not every time, but it looks like it comes a decent number of shots off that back arm, just jabbing, jabbing, and then kind of about to here, instead of getting that complete rotation which is gonna give him more follow through. In addition, more coverage because when you get that shoulder up and you rotate you can protect your jaw as opposed to being back here where this arm is doing nothing to protect you. Now we see him try to execute jab cross roll off to the side cross back very common little combo that people do. One of the mistakes he's making here though is he's going jab, he's throwing his cross, dropping this hand because he knows it's gonna end up there eventually. He's going one, two, he's thinking, okay, then I drop, but he's doing that preemptively, one, two, and now this hand's down and then he's dropping. The problem with this is obviously when you throw that cross, you're completely open on this side, you have no protection, and if you end up taking a punch there, there's gonna be no slipping because you got hit initially. So you always have to remember when somebody calls a combo, maybe they say jab, cross, hook, roll, hook. You don't want to go one, two, three and have your hands down because you know the hook's coming. One, two, three, guard up like normal and then roll your way under. The final thing which I want to point out and I've mentioned on the channel many times before and this will help increase your protection, your defense all round, but in addition, it will increase the speed of your punch. Eddie is a little sluggish occasionally on the re-chamber. And this makes sense because when we're hitting pads or when we're trying to strike somebody, we think, get to them. That's the priority, hit them. But then once we've hit them, oh, okay, we can be a little bit lackadaisical on the re-chamber because the work's done, especially on pads when somebody's not gonna fire back at you. But we wanna be thinking that, okay, we hit, we pull back even faster so we can maintain that really solid defense. It doesn't happen all the time for Eddie, but occasionally a little sluggish on that reach chamber. No big deal though, everything that I've mentioned, all three things which were just little issues, these are all common errors which beginners, intermediate people make, and then hopefully by the time you recognize them, make corrections when you get to that advanced skill set, those are no longer there. I gotta say it was fun fun to review training footage of somebody who is outside the fight sports world in general, has an area of expertise somewhere else, but still very athletic, and looking at somebody who probably just can create phenomenal power in his lifts, and then seeing how it translates to striking, it was just a fun episode to make. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What do you think about Eddie's striking skills? Were you surprised? How do you think he would do in a boxing match? I think he actually had a bout, maybe an exhibition against the Mountain, the guy from Game of Thrones. I believe they did an exhibition. I can't remember that guy's actual name. And I don't even know what happened in that fight. But overall, 
I was still impressed with Eddie's skills. So thank you for joining me today, guys. As always, train hard, and I will see you back here soon for another video.